You know, skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S. Tonight, we're going to tell you about a new pill that the FDA approved for patients. You know, skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. And experts say one in five Americans will develop skin cancer in the course of a lifetime now. Sonatajeb is a new drug for advanced basal cell carcinoma. One approval from the Food and Drug Administration, basal cell carcinoma, the most frequently occurring form of skin cancer, starts in the top layer of the skin and usually develops in areas regularly exposed to the sun and other ultraviolet radiation. So we are joined tonight by dermatologist Dr. Shoshana Kendred from the MedStar Health to learn more about this pill. Doctor, thanks so much for coming in with us on a Friday. Thank you. So Dr. Kendred, tell me who, who's a candidate to take this pill? People who are candidates are those who have metastatic basal cell cancer or locally advanced cancer that's invading bones and other tissues or those who've had surgery or radiation that didn't work. Mm -hmm. Now, it's been approved by the FDA, so what happens next? I mean, how soon would I be able to get my hands on it if I'm a candidate for it? Usually the manufacturers try to make it instantaneously available uh, for us to use for patients who need it. And so tell me, um, how big of a breakthrough is this? You said there are others? Yes. Um, a competitor is already out called Vismotajib. Mm -hmm. came out in 2012, but it's always healthy to have more options than just one. And so now we have two pills instead of just one for basal cell cancers. So guys, talk to us about the importance of what you can do before you get to that point. That putting on that screen, so, I mean sunscreen, we hammer it home year after year after year and some folks just aren't getting the message. Yes, and it's so, it's so much more important to prevent mm -hmm. than to treat. So you want to wear a wide brim hat mm -hmm. because if you get a cancer on your ears, we would try our best to make both ears look the same when we cut it out, right? Or mm -hmm. just prevent it. Um, so don't use the baseball cap. Sunscreen, it should be SPF 30 at least, broad spectrum and water resistant. Mm -hmm. You want to avoid uh, sun exposure between 10 and 2. Basically, if your shadow is shorter than you, mm -hmm. seek shade. Okay. And once a year, um, do your own skin check. If you can remember, check your birthday suit on your birthday. Okay. That's a way to remember that it's time for you to do a skin check. Kind of like when you're in the shower to check your breasts for those yes. self-breast exams. What about these sunscreens that say that they last for hours and even when you're in the water? How true is that? Uh, you know, uh, SPF 30, for example, blocks 97% of sun exposure. Mm -hmm. So you only have a window of about 3% past that. So you get a little bit longer exposure, but it doesn't make a significant difference compared to the price you have to pay. Oh, right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. What about for children? How important is it for kids? It's absolutely important for kids to be protected from the sun. We know that blistering sunburns, sun poisoning, severe sunburns during childhood mm -hmm. significantly increases the risk of a skin cancer, particularly melanoma, which is the deadly form. And lastly, how often, people heading out to the beach, Ocean City this weekend, how often should you put it on? Every one and a half to two hours. Oh, so that's quick. I mean, most people yeah. think they can have it on for four hours and be good to go. Come back like a lobster. Okay, oh, you don't want that. That's not very attractive. Dr. Kendra, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And us. All right, put on that sunscreen. Send it over to Mike now for a look at the weather. Mike?